Welcome to video 34 in series 3 and in this video I'll go over toggling the cursor. So when do I want that to happen? Well, when these two events uh, get triggered, so the menu toggle event and the inventory UI uh, toggle event. Okay, so I'll get to work making a new script and I'll call it game manager toggle cursor. Open it up. Put in the namespace, namespace S3. Okay. I won't be using the start method. I'll just put that out. So void on enable. I'll have a void on disable, of course. Then my own stuff, which I'll put below the update method. I don't really need that either. Okay, let's jump down here. Avoid set initial references. Avoid uh, check if I guess, well, I guess the toggle cursor state is what I'll call this one. Void toggle cursor state. And then I'll do another one, void check if, uh, well, I guess check if cursor locked, something like that. So check if cursor should be locked. All right, so now I need uh, some variables, only two. So private game manager master, game manager master. Then I need a private bool is cursor locked. Okay. I can just start it off in true. Um, okay. So now I need to set the initial reference. So game manager master is get component. Which component is that? It's the game manager master. Okay. Now I'll call that method set initial references. Uh, the the uh, method I want to uh, call through the events is the toggle cursor state. So I'll say game manager master dot uh, menu toggle event plus equal a toggle cursor uh, state. Okay, just copy that, put it down, uh, and also the other event which is the inventory UI toggle event. Then I'll copy these both and uh, bring them over here and just change it to the unsubscribe. Okay. In update, I will be checking if cursor should be locked. So I explained this previously in chapter one why I'm doing that. Okay, and now in here, is cursor locked is equal to not is cursor locked. So just toggle it. And then uh, if in this uh, method that's called an update, I'll then now check uh, the state. So if uh, is cursor locked? So if it is locked, then that means the cursor should be locked. So cursor dot uh, lock state is cursor lock mode dot locked, and also hide the cursor. So cursor dot visible is equal to false. Okay, if that's not the case, so else. Then in that case, the cursor is free and it should be visible. So we none and it'll be true. Okay. So to me, that looks like I've got uh, everything that I need. So I'll go back to Unity. Go to the game manager, drop in the toggle cursor script and I guess hit play. Okay. So the cursor is free. I can see the menu. If I hit escape, there we go. It's locked and I can't see the cursor within the game window. So outside, yes, it can appear. But, uh, yep, that is pretty much locked. And if I press escape, yep, the cursor is unlocked, free, and I can move it around, hit escape, it's gone, and it's locked inside of the game window itself. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty good. 
Okay, so that's it for this video. Keep on going, more stuff to do for the game manager. Thanks for watching.